it's been so long since I've done a tutorial. I know I keep saying that. I really mean it. But uh, I've been working on this project, a project that's been driving me nuts. In the, in the background, when I feel like it, I've been doing some animation. And uh, the screen capture software is actually really interfering with uh, my animation uh, playback here. Let me scroll back here. Anyway, um, this is the character uh, Tyrael from uh, the Diablo 2 game. And uh, I've been doing uh, various characters in the Blizzard, uh, uh, you know, Blizzard fan uh, appreciation kind of section there. And uh, I wanted to do like a little test animation of Tyrael here. And uh, unfortunately, I can't scrub by too much. But uh, I don't know if you saw, I, I made this demon uh, character before. I'm going to have him doing like a little, little fight with this demon here. Unfortunately, I, the screen capture software is, is making it difficult to scrub through the frames to show you what's going on, but I'll have this rendered pretty soon. Anyway, um, what I want to show you is that you can see here these uh, dotted lines that are on the uh, camera uh, viewport here. And uh, so this, uh, this tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit of ins and outs about uh, the secret things about cameras in Blender. And so if we go and we select our camera, you can see that the frame here is yellow because we you can, you can actually, let me, see, let me click on something here. Okay, if you uh, right click on like the frame of the image here, if you're looking through the camera view, which is zero on your number pad, then um, if you right click on the little frame here, that will select the camera for you as well, okay? So um, that's like a shortcut to selecting the camera. And then I'm not sure if you know uh, about the, the shortcut keys. Um, if you hit, when the camera is selected, if you hit G twice and move around, you can move the camera. If you click with your middle mouse button, you can zoom in and out. If you hit R twice, you will pan the camera. So these are good um, ways to do things from inside of the camera view. Uh, but the other thing I want to show you is if you click on the camera tab here, there's a couple options I wanted to let you know about. Um, one thing are the displays. You can display, for example, the mist and, and the uh, title safe area if you're doing like television. Uh, this is the area that uh, if you want any text or if you want things to absolutely positively be within the frame, if you're going out to television, because some TVs uh, will cut off the size for various reasons, uh, click on title safe and then make sure that everything's in there. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is there's a drop-down list here that says Compositional Guides. And so these are things that, you know, if you're aware of the compositional um, art theories in, in art or photography, uh, there's things like the rule of thirds, which means that, um, you know, basically you split the screen up into thirds, that the interesting things or the items that you want to draw the person's attention should probably be near or, or right about at the intersection of these thirds here. So right there where these uh, lines cross, that's where you would want, uh, that's where you would want the um, interesting parts of your, of your image. Now, of course, you know, when things are moving, you can't really have things always be on these focal points, but just as, as long as there's a, if there's camera move, if the start and end points of the camera move uh, kind of end up on a rule of thirds area, then that's probably a good idea. Um, you know, depending on what you want to go for, there's reasons to break these rules, of course. But just to let you know, uh, you can check and uncheck these, and then that, that way you get to see everything all by itself. And then there's different ones. There's the golden, uh, golden mean or whatever. And you can have multiple selected at one time. You can have different uh, compositional guides. And you can check and uncheck those. Okay, so that's uh, one thing about using cameras. Um, let me go uh, hit seven on my number pad. Go to the top view. Ooh, I hope it doesn't crash. Okay, and I actually uh, added another camera in here because I wanted to have the cameras, uh, you know, switch to a different different uh, location. What I could do is, is, as you can see here, one of the cameras is animated. It's going on this kind of motion path here. Uh, but I didn't want to have. I, I could, of course. Just keyframe, you know, once I wanted the camera to go back to this section here, or a different place, you know, to cut basically, I could um, keyframe it, at, you know, immediately after this frame, but uh, that could cause problems. The motion path could get screwed up and stuff. So in this case, I just added another camera, hit Shift A, and uh, I just added a camera. Um, it's right here, actually. If I, if I uh, select this by right clicking on it, You'll see that I'm still seeing uh, 
from the other camera's viewpoint, if I want to uh, go and jump to the new camera's viewpoint, instead of hitting zero on my number pad, I would hit control zero, and now you can see I jumped to that. As you can see, the uh, this is where I'm going to start taking it. So uh, that's a way to you know work with multiple cameras. You see, he jumps up in the air, and he's going to stab the guy in the chest. So um, you know that's uh, a few of the things I wanted you to let you know about. Uh, the other thing you will want to know about is the focal length, which of course is um, very important to getting a certain look to your shots. Uh, I won't go into that. Get like a photography book or something, and and focal length, you know, is the same thing as as um, focal length in photography. All right. So anyway, this uh, tutorial, um, I hope it helps you out. It's ba just basically little tips and tricks on dealing with the camera in in uh, Blender.